Hi everybody, it's Sandra. Welcome to the Funky Pickle channel. Thank you so much for coming today. I am crazy about Christmas jewelry. My grandma also loved Christmas jewelry and she would always have a really big Christmas tree pin right on her coat. Everybody always knew what gift to get my grandmother for Christmas. It was always a Christmas pin for her. And you know, when she got older, she still wanted to go to garage sales with me, but she couldn't get out of the car. So many, many times at yard sales, I would ask the people, can I carry this entire tray of your jewelry over to the car? My grandma can't really walk so great anymore, but she wants to buy some of your jewelry. And not once did anybody say no. So I would bring a tray of jewelry over to the car. My grandmother would go through it. She'd pick out all the Christmas stuff, of course, and any other really blingy brooches that she loved. She would not let me pay for them. So Christmas jewelry has such great memories for me. I love Christmas. I love the whole season. Please stick around. I have some great blingy stuff coming up and almost everything I'm going to show you today, I bought in the wild. I didn't go to antique stores. I didn't go on eBay. Almost everything I'm about to show you, I paid a dollar for or two dollars for or three dollars for or 10 cents for. The only reason I really love mentioning that is because if I can do it, you can do it too. These great pieces are out there, including lots of Christmas jewelry. Anyhow, I hope that you like looking at my stuff. Thank you so much for coming. I got to get going. It's getting cold out here. That's corny, isn't it? I know. Here's a very beautiful Christmas tree brooch. I know a lot of people who collect Christmas jewelry collect Christmas trees exclusively, and I do have quite a few of them. This one is an A-list brooch right here. This is great. This is one of my favorites. This bell is so pretty, and I think these are called clappers, and these move a little bit, just a tiny bit, so when you're walking, they might move around a little bit. That is just adorable. It's a nice old pin. I think this one has sort of a certain quiet elegance to it. I love the frosted glass and then some of the rhinestones are not frosted. How pretty is that? I even love the trunk on that. That is beautiful. Is that signed by the maker? Hold on, let me take a look. Well, that's a surprise. This is a Napier. I didn't even know that. I should have known this was really a designer piece because I think it's very special. This one's really pretty. I don't think I have very many Christmas gift brooches. This one's really sweet. This one has a lot of dimension to it. This is so pretty with that bow and that ribbon. This is an amazing Christmas package brooch. Nothing but rhinestones on this one. I love the color combination. That's beautiful. I love blue and white together. This isn't that old, is it? It's really nice though. I got this at a yard sale, I think, this summer. This one is gorgeous. Look at that. I don't have very many Christmas ornament brooches. This really is one of my favorites. You are so pretty. Well, Rudolph's trying to carry more than he can handle. That's very cute. How fun is that? I like the polka dotted package. Very fun. Here's another beautiful Christmas tree brooch. Look at those ornaments on the tree. Isn't that beautiful? Look how glistening all those rhinestones are. And there's another nice little trunk down there. This one has a nice golden stone in it. Lovely. This is a nice candy cane. Some very nice enameling work on this. And then rhinestones right there on the bow. And this is signed Jerry's. Let me see if I can zoom it in. They made a lot of great Christmas jewelry. This is so realistic looking. It really looks like a real bow. It is, of course, metal. I have a red one, too, somewhere. I don't know where it is, but I'll bring that out. But we'll see that, I think, before the end of this video. We'll see one just like this in red. This cat has some great blue jewel eyes. And this is a double pin. This is this kind of pin. Look how nice the bow is around his neck. Very cute. Here's some more Christmas bells. I think I got this one over the summer. I love this one. I love the real, that they're really skinny bells. I think I have another one of these in an aqua color. I believe it's the same or similar, but we'll take a look at that one later on. I got this Rudolph yesterday, actually. He was $2 in a thrift store. No, you know what? I take that back. He was $1 in a thrift store. He's a great looking Rudolph. And this is one of my favorites. This is a pendant. He is fantastic. This is definitely from the 50s or 60s, and this is signed Mamzelle. I have other pieces of Mamzelle. 
Look at how nicely done that is. He has sort of blinged out eyes and a blinged out collar. This is really charming. I got this little pin yesterday in a thrift store. It was $4 and it is sterling silver. And I actually really like it. It kind of has a mod look to it. And I thought that was a good price. Here's a snowflake. This is gold and white, which I think is a really great combination together. That's kind of nice. It's two layers. I like snowflake stuff because it doesn't have to be for Christmas necessarily. You could just wear it in the winter or whenever you want. There's no rules as far as I'm concerned. So here's a Jerry's. I know without looking that this is a Jerry's. Jerry's made a lot of great novelty jewelry and he's a very cute little Rudolph head. Here's a nice newer one. It has some rhinestones and then also some enameling. That's kind of fun. There's a candy cane and a stocking and a gift under the tree. Here's another one of my favorites. I just love that these ornaments dangle around in there a little bit. Let me see if this one is signed. It is not. This one is so girly and so nice and I love that movement of those ornaments. How sweet is that little item? Very nice. Here's a cute cat pin. This has a great clanger here. And that moves around a little bit. And of course this is a JJ. There is nobody else who would do this except for JJ. I love that one. Isn't that cute? I got this one in Savers the other day. I think this was either $1.99 or $2.99. And I always have a coupon when I go there because I donate a lot of stuff to them. How cute is that? Just the one rhinestone. It doesn't look like a rhinestone, but it actually is. I thought that was kind of mod and cool. This one is so much fun. I love the color combination on this one too. Of course, who do you think it is? JJ. This one has a lot of great details. I love Santa's sneakers on this one. Here's some of my favorite Christmas earrings. These are right out of the 1950s. I wore these actually in the intro. You probably couldn't see them. That's the problem with long hair. You really have to have big earrings on. But these are just great Santa faces. Santa looks a little bit angry, doesn't he? Anyway, super cute clip-on earrings. Those are really a lot of fun. I love wearing these and they're not that uncomfortable. That's cute, Santa, but I don't know why you're mad. I hope it's nothing I did. Well, this is a great sleigh. This is very stylized. I love this one. This is so much fun. I think I got this one over the summer, maybe the spring. This is a newer one that I got though. I just got him the other day. He was either in a Goodwill or a Savers. I can't remember now, but he was $1.99. He's pretty fun. Come on, look at those cheeks. That's adorable. I love this one. He makes a little bit of jingling noises. You got to have fun with jewelry, right? He's fun. Here's a beautiful triple candle pin. How pretty is this? Look at those flames. That's a very beautiful orangey yellow color. A nice beautiful golden color on those flames. Rhinestones, of course. I'll take a look at the back. This is even nice on the back, isn't it? Not signed, surprisingly. Very pretty though. So I didn't get these at the same place. I didn't even get these in the same year, but these were both yard sale finds. And what I think is interesting is how different those rhinestones are. Even the eyes are different colors. He has something, some sort of weird tongue in there. He's got great eyes. I think Santa is supposed to have blue eyes, isn't he? Isn't that what's in Twas the Night Before Christmas? Hmm, but see, he doesn't have a ton. Anyway, these are really adorable and they have some age, right? These are likely from the 50s. Look at those great colors too. Those rhinestones are so nice, beautiful. Here's a cute puppy sticking his head out of a Christmas stocking. I would love to have a puppy this year coming out of my Christmas stocking. That's adorable. And that is a Jerry's. I love the stocking. I love the pointy toe on it. These are some awesome flying reindeer. These have really nice stylized swirly rhinestone antlers. How pretty is this? I love the pink stones on this one. I think that's sort of different. Nice one. This one is so pretty. So it not only has those beautiful rhinestone ornaments, but also that garland going through it. Very creative, very interesting. That is lovely. 
So this brooch is by Avon. I don't know if they're still doing this, but for a while they were putting out a different Christmas brooch every year. And this is 2004. And there's some really, really beautiful ones here. I think I have three or four of them. Isn't that beautiful? And this was a yard sale find. I think that's just spectacular. I love that one. So I bought these beautiful Christmas tree pins on eBay. I think I bought them last winter and they were not expensive. And I think somebody in like Czechoslovakia or something like that was making these. I'll show you the back because they're not really great looking on the back, but they look so nice in the front. So these are all so different. I love these colors. Here's what the back looks like. I do have that top stone that just fell out because it was just there a minute ago. Anyway, that's in the box. I just got to put that back in. But I thought these were really pretty. I love the pink one. I love this one too. It's all a little bit different. So I don't know how to make jewelry, but I guess somebody had all these pieces and then just sort of soldered them, soldered them all together. This was a great buy. So here's that other ribbon. This one is in red. Sure looks like real ribbon. This is a really fun vintage Santa face. This is great. You know, he has that not have a face. Isn't he cute? He doesn't have any stones on him. I think that's all enameling. Very sweet. This one is really special because the rhinestones are so big. That one did just fall out. I got to glue that one back in there. That does happen sometimes with these rhinestones that are glued in. The glue over time does dry out and if you just look at it or touch it or breathe on it, the rhinestones will fall out. No big deal. I'll just glue that back in but that one is really beautiful. This one's really pretty. This looks like it's from the 60s to me. It has a little Madonna there. Isn't that cute? Now this moves around. I don't know if it's supposed to, but you can kind of put this any way you want with the red and the gold. I sort of like it like that all spread out. It's a pretty item. That's just plastic. Here's another great Christmas ornament pin. I love these. I love that blue color too. This is a great vintage one. This is signed, but I can't make out who it is. It's like just so worn away, but that's one of my favorites for sure. I was just wondering to myself whether this pin went with these earrings. It looks like they go together. These are clip-on earrings. And then I noticed that they're signed Mylou, and then this is also Mylou. So these do go together. Okay, I was right. Anyway, this is a beautiful, these are beautiful clip-on earrings. And this is a beautiful matching Christmas tree brooch. That's a very cute little set. Here are some beautiful Christmas bells. I love this one. You have the gold bell and then the silver bell. That reminds me of a song. Anyway, look how pretty this is. I love this one. I've had this one for a really long time. This one is really beautiful and some of the Christmas decorations on this are pearls. How pretty are those Aurora Borealis rhinestones also? And this is another Milu. That's a beautiful little pin. Here's another of my favorites. I love this one. It's so mod looking. I love the colors too. This nice textured gold tone. That is pretty. Oh, that one's JJ. I have so much JJ stuff. I don't know why I keep finding it all the time. I mean, I'm happy about it because it's so pretty. Nice job, JJ. This one is one of my favorites. I just love the color of this. I love the mod look to it. I love these skinny bells, but I just really love that aqua blue color. I think this is just so different and so lovely. Here's a pretty Christmas angel. Look at those great rhinestones. Isn't that pretty? Look at her pretty wings. And I also love her eyelashes and I love her mouth too. That's very cute, and that is signed by a company called Art. Art is another company. They made a lot of novelty stuff, a lot of Christmas stuff. This is a nice vintage piece. This one is another one of my favorites. This is also by Art, but I just love this white enameling, and I love that eye. I love the eyelashes. I love the antler. I'm just crazy about this one. This is an awesome Rudolph. You are really cute, Rudolph. 
So I got this at a yard sale a couple of years ago. They had like 10 of them and I bought all of them. I think they were either 50 cents or a dollar each and I gave them to all my friends that year for Christmas. They were all new on the card. As you can see, it is battery operated and I think you can change. It actually really needs a new battery. I think you can make it just go steady. It doesn't have to blink like that. This really shows up better in the dark. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. This is another awesome Christmas tree brooch. It's kind of surprising really that so many different companies could think up so many different designs for Christmas trees. This one is really stunning. I love this one too. So this one has a lot more gold tone showing. It's still very lovely. Lots and lots of different colors. Here's another one that I love so much. What I really like about this one is a lot of those rhinestones are different sizes, which I think is really nice. And then this one is a blast. This almost reminds me of those vintage pom-pom trees. Isn't that interesting? Look at the tree. It's just kind of cool. This one's really different. And you know what? I think it's very effective. Just this very nice rich green color and white. I love the shape of this one. That's a beauty. Here's another great one with lots and lots of gold tone showing. It looks like this had a little stone fall out too. I got to glue that back in there. Very lovely. I am so crazy about this one. This is a great mod one. I just love the mod looking ones. That's a blast and a half. That's very cool. So this one has its advantages because those aren't rhinestones. They just sort of made this enameling and this raised up part to look like rhinestones. It's a pendant, obviously. But you can't lose the stones because it doesn't have any stones, yet it looks like stones. That's really cute. Well, this is great. I love the silver garland that's running through this, and these are some great rhinestones. Wow. Even a triangle. Check that out. Super fun. This has got some lovely red enameling, too. That's really pretty. A red Christmas tree. This one's different because these Christmas decorations on here move around. That's pretty nice. This is probably from the 80s or 90s. Pretty one though. This one is so lovely. This reminds me of an Eisenberg. I love those colors. So this one is just slightly fabulous, wouldn't you say? Isn't that great? Very modernist take on a Christmas tree. And I love the combination of the clear rhinestones and just a few accent pieces of the nice jewel tone colors. What a beautiful brooch that is. This is a great vintage piece. I love the snow on the branches. This is a lovely enamel and rhinestone piece. That's a beautiful one. I love that one. Just classic. Here's another outstanding one. This is silver tone and just pink ornaments. I love that. And I actually love when people have silver trees and they put all pink ornaments on their actual trees. That's beautiful too. This one is quite unusual, I think. This one is actually better looking than my camera is showing it. This really is cool. All blue rhinestones on silver tone, but yeah, this one doesn't look nice on my camera. It is in person though. You just have to trust me on this. It's a cool one. Here's a very traditional one. This one's great, nice green enameling, and just red rhinestones. That's very pretty. Here's a pair of awesome Christmas tree earrings. These are pretty blingy. And these are clip-ons. Those cute? These are really nice rhinestones. They certainly have a lot of glitz to them. Here's another great one with a missing stone. I do have that stone. It is in my Christmas jewelry box, so I gotta just get that out and stick that back in there with some glue. That one is cool. So I am actually in love with this Christmas tree pin. This is just one of my favorite things. I love this pin so much. It's so mod and so cool and so screaming 60s. I love this pin. This is great, and it's in really nice condition. And like almost everything else here, it was a yard sale find. So in case you don't like them blingy, here's a very nice tree with just a red ribbon and a red star. This is very pretty on just that kind of circular gold tone. 
That's very nice. Look at that enameling. It's really got a lot of reflection and shine to it. Here's another awesome one. Look at this. Love, love, love. That's fantastic. That's a good one. How cute is this reindeer? I guess that one is not Rudolph because he doesn't have a red nose. That's very cute. Nothing but rhinestones. Love that blue eye. Adorbs. Here's a nice little wreath. This one's nice and small. That would look really pretty on a collar. This is a cute sort of chubby little Christmas tree. Just gold and white. Very nice. It's signed Roman inside. This is a cute little vintage tree. This is a sweet wreath. This is all enameling. No rhinestones on this one, but there is plenty of shine. This is a pretty vintage brooch. Here's a great Monet brooch. I think I might have the box for this somewhere. I don't know why this isn't in its box, but it's on its card. He's cute. Look at his mittens. Here's a great glazed ceramic one. This looks like it's Lennox, but I guess it isn't. I'm not sure. It should have some sort of signature on it if it was Lennox, you would think. That's a cute little snowman. I like this mixed metal snowman. He's cute. I got this in a Goodwill, I think, just not too long ago. <laughs> He's really cute. I like that one a lot. This one is one of my favorites. So he has this scarf that moves. He's all rhinestones. He is awesome. Of course, they always have to have their top hat on, right? He's a very fancy one. Nice blue eyes. You're handsome. Here's an interesting one. Look at this. Well, this is clearly not very old, but it is very nice. I like that one. That's cool, and he doesn't have a face. Here's some adorable glass earrings. Those are very cute. Those look like those are all hand painted. I'm thinking just a local artisan probably made those. Oh, look at they have little hearts. Those are very cute earrings. Here's some more adorable earrings that somebody probably just made out of pearls and some paint and a sequin or two, a little bit of ribbon. <laughs> these are very cute earrings. Aren't those nice? Oh, those are fun. I'm going to wear these. Oh, how lovely is this wreath? Look at that bow. And it also has all these beautiful green Nevet stones. You are very pretty, aren't you? Oh, you are lovely. What are you called? Holiday cheer pin. Oh, that's really cute. That is a nice one, Avon. And then we have this guy. Who are you? Avon sleigh ride. Surprise pin and ear earrings. Oh, I don't know if I have those earrings, but I bet you I do. I have so much Christmas jewelry. I don't even know if I can get to all of it today. That's how much I have. So here's Avon's Christmas tree pin for 2006. Each branch is a bow. That's very nice. Beautiful AB rhinestones on this one too. Look at this. That has those nice dangling ornaments. This is so pretty. What year is this one from? 2005. Very beautiful. Here's a beautiful Christmas bell, nice and blingy. I had a similar one to this one. I don't think it was the same one, was it? I'm not even sure. I really should put these in categories when I put these away. Here's another great Santa pin. I like all the toys in his bag. Some nice rhinestones, some nice enameling. He's a really a fat Santa, and he's signed by Art. Here's a whole bunch of cute ones. Three more reindeer. Here's a great bell brooch. Ah, the missing stone. Does this clapper move? Yep, this clapper moves too. Very cute, hanging from a bow so that it would move a little bit. This moves and then that clapper moves. This is an adorable candy cane. It's green and white and then it just has this red bow. Adorable. And then this is a more traditional candy cane, all rhinestones, but it is in the red and white. Here's a pretty little wreath. Here's another great candy cane.
this is an interesting Christmas lamp post. I love that one. And here's a little Christmas candle. I think that's really cute. This is actually a Christmas tree pin and it's all these Christmas gifts. That's sweet. I got this sort of mod Christmas pin yesterday also. This was in a little local thrift store. That's as cute as anything. And this came from there too. These are beautiful. I love blue and green. What a great combination that is. Here's an interesting Santa face pin. That's pretty cute in the red and green. And yesterday I also got these three. So these are glazed ceramic. I've never seen this before. It says Bloom by Bethany Lowe Designs. I have that one. I have the snowman one, which is really cute. He looks kind of worried. That's adorable. And this to me, this is the best one of the Bloom ones. This is such a great Christmas cat. So that all happened yesterday. So this one is another one of my favorites. I know some people are gonna think this one's really ugly, but I think it's just sort of funny. I don't know, I like it. It's very light plastic. It's just so cheap. And I was lucky enough to find it with matching earrings. And then believe it or not, like three days ago, I was in a thrift store and I found this same exact tree. Weird. So this one is kind of like one of my flower power pins, only it's a Christmas flower. How great is this? Boy, that's in perfect condition. I really have to make sure. Oops, I spoke too soon. Anyway, there's no chipping paint on this one. This is great. I love this one. Wow, here's another one. I totally am gonna wear this one this year. I love this one. Some nice layering, sweet item. So I got this one not too long ago and I kept the price on. So $1.99 at Goodwill. Isn't that interesting? It looks like real gold, but it's not, unfortunately. That's really a sweet Christmas leaf though. Here's a cute Christmas stocking. How nice is that? Some dangling rhinestones there. Well, I sure hope this isn't boring. I am getting down to the end, but I still have quite a few left. I got this one recently. I didn't understand what this is. It's sort of weird. It's like a Santa face paper clip. You must clip this on your lapel or something, right? I don't know. That one is puzzling. Here's a kitschy and cheap 50s or 60s Santa. I like these cheap ones, you know, these sort of ones that you know somebody bought in Bradley's or Caldor or Woolworth's. Very cute. Here's another Christmas tree. This is quite elegant. I love the trunk on this one. It sort of is textured. Here's a fun Christmas owl. This is plastic. I got this one not long ago and it's Hallmark. I thought that was pretty fun, so I picked it up for my collection. I think it was a quarter. So I have a few charms for charm bracelets, and these are all sterling. I have this one. That's very pretty. I have this great old Santa. All yard sale stuff. This is one of my favorite Christmas charms. I love this one. 1987. Here's another cute charm, three carolers. Here's a fun and kitschy dog with a Christmas stocking in his mouth. Looks like there might be some dog bones in there. I guess he's been a good boy. Here's another great Rudolph. He's got a great bell. That one's kind of outstanding. Nice and glitzy. This is a really cute pin with all those candles. Missing a little stone on top. I'm sure it's in the box. I gotta glue that back in. I love this little candle. Isn't that so cool the way there's that marbling? That's a very fun little pin. I got this one a couple of weeks ago. This one has a pearl clapper and this one is an apier. 
Very nice. So I think Napier is still in business today. I always feel like Napier is just sort of a notch above the others. They just made beautiful, beautiful stuff. Here's a beautiful Monet piece. I love this sleigh. This is great. There's the signature right there. Here's some more great Christmas bells. And this is also a Napier. Oh, no kidding. Huh, I didn't know that. Well, that's pretty. I love the ribbon on this one. Here's a cute wreath, all rhinestones with a candle in the center. So I think this is mistletoe. This is a really fun item with lots of movement. I love this cardinal. Cardinals have a special place for me. My dad loved cardinals and in my yard we always get cardinals and he used to sit in my backyard and he would just be amazed at how many cardinals there always were flying around. And now when I see a cardinal I always think of my father. Here's two great vintage reindeer scatter pins. I love these. I love that they're a set. Those are adorable. Here's a cute little pin. So here's a very sophisticated and classy Christmas pin, as you can see. I mean, I'm sure Jackie O had this exact one. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. Hold on. <laughs> All right, I'm sort of clumsy with this, but so when you pull this bell right here, his, let me see. All right, well, he does that. You get the idea. I can't really do it. I can't really do it with one hand. He's a fun pin. I just got this one at an auction in October. This is one of the older things I have and it is sterling. That's a very pretty little Christmas pin. I have this Jolly Santa face. He's really cute. I love his beard. That is not missing a stone. Darn it. I gotta find that one too. He's a whole lot of fun. Look at his beard move around. Bring me something good for Christmas. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah. Uh, you better bring it. Nice rich colors on this beautiful enamel pin. Here's a pair of earrings that I really love. Those are quite showy. Here's some vintage earrings I love. These are great. These are like Christmas ornament earrings. They're clip-ons. Here's a great old necklace. I don't know who IS Company is. Pretty necklace though. This is a great Santa item. You could put this on a necklace or a bracelet or a pin or anything you want. I'm gonna try to see if I can open up his mouth and show you what he does. He has a little bell right here. And when you pull it down, it says, have a Mary. So that's pretty great. I love mechanical stuff like this. It just does a little something, something. Have a Mary. I think this one is very tasteful. It just has enough rhinestones, not too many, not overpowering. It's a very lovely Christmas wreath. So I just found this one in my box. I didn't think I had any Weiss pins, but I do. I guess I have just this one. When I get these, I usually sell them right away. That's beautiful. Look at the candles. Weiss is such a great company. I love finding stuff by Weiss. It's just so nicely made. So this is the last thing I'm going to be showing you today. This is one of the best ones, and I did not find this one in the wild. My mother bought this one for me on eBay, and I think she might have paid $60 or $70 for it a few years ago. But this is a fantastic Christmas tree brooch. Thank you so much for coming today, everybody. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you soon. I hope you enjoyed looking at some of my Christmas jewelry. Take care, everyone. Have a great day.